outward pressure of the world to conform. Oh, so you're all religious now. Why do you have to go to church all the time? You see, they don't understand that church isn't just a building with programs. Church is the people of God who've been called out of the world and into this thing called the family of God who love each other and you're there to serve and grow and, and be fed. And, and why do you got to do that all the time? Come on, man. You know, we're, we're all getting together Friday night. It's going to be really cool. You need to come, man. I, everybody's doing this. Nobody cares. It's not gonna, you're not going to go to hell for doing this thing one time on Friday night. Come on. I'm just t- painting big, broad strokes, right? We've all heard this stuff. We've all felt these kind of pressures, and all of a sudden you start to feel, be- and because of the Spirit of God living in your heart, you begin to feel, mm, I feel like a square peg in a round hole world. This is not comfortable, because I know this is not right. The pressure of the world to conform. It's just out there. Jesus said it this way in John chapter 15, verses 18 and 19. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, it would love you as its own. But as it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the the world. I want to pause. I want to really make sure. I've kind of drilled down on this a couple times today, but I really want to do it one more time. I've chosen you out of the world. That Jesus is talking about the church. And again, we need to understand what the church is. Every Christian has a story. And it's a story of, I remember when I learned about the cross. Whether it was a friend or a preacher however God brought that into your life and I learned that there was a man named Jesus who died on that cross and it wasn't just a historical act it was the, it was it was a, a, a personal thing that God did for me that Jesus took my sin and, and, and my punishment on that cross and that became real because of the power of the spirit that opened your heart and mind to that it's called conviction it's the miracle of conversion and you, you understood that and you said oh my goodness I need to turn away from my old life. I need to repent. I'm not going to walk this way anymore. I'm not going to live in the ways of the world. I'm going to turn and say, Lord, forgive me, and I'm going to follow you. I'm going to put my faith in you. I'm going to stand in these waters here of baptism and say, bury that old man. Bury that old man. Goodbye, old life, and rise to walk in the newness of life with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to become, see the word ecclesia that we get the word church from is called, it means the called out ones. Those who've heard that, that call of God to turn away from the culture of the world and come into a new culture called God's people. And, and, and Christ said, I've called you out of that and into this new world of living by the ways of the kingdom, the weird life. And Jesus said, that's why the world hates you. So, all of a sudden, we've got new values. We've got new, new ways of looking at everything, and, and we don't fit. And so Jesus says, don't be surprised when you start to feel the world pressuring you to conform. Fix your eyes on me afresh. Keep loving. Keep walking forward in righteousness, peace, and joy. 